Hey guys. Hey, how are you doing out there? Are you blessed? Are you healed? Are you free? Are you saved? Ooh, my <laughs> dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope you're saved out there. Hallelujah. I truly do. That's our heart. And you know that's God's heart. That's always been his heart. And listen, listen that's right. when, we're talk, when we're talking about relationships, all right, that's the very thing. That's the one thing that God has always wanted. He's always wanted to have a relationship with each and every that's one right. of us. Amen. 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 You know, a little, bit of, a little bit ago, I got hit in the eye by a bug. All right. I'm not going to flinch. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. Deanna and I are here with you today. Welcome to today's devotion, Embracing God's Love with... Steve and Deanna. No, that's us. <laughs> and uh, listen, right right now we're here for you, all right? And I think I think what Deanna and I are really trying to do throughout all these videos is we're trying to send out a message, a message of love, a message that to let you know how much God loves you, a message that, listen, at the end of this, we will we'll walk you through a salvation prayer. If your heart so desires to to be saved, to give your heart to Jesus Christ, and, uh, and, and listen, the blessings of God that come with that, I'm telling you, the peace, the knowing, just the knowing where you're going to go when you pass away, when, Amen, you, that's so when, you, when you breathe your last breath, yeah. you know where you're going, because you've given your heart to Jesus Christ, you can't put a price tag on that, well, my friends, knowing, like you just said, you can't put a price tag, but knowing that you get to go to heaven, listen, if you don't receive him, yeah, this is the flip side that's of that's right, and you pass away, you don't get heaven, you don't get it. No, there, you don't. You don't get you don't. <laughs> I mean, who wants that? Who wants to go to hell? I wouldn't. Right? No way. Eternal so torment. It's important. Just, but make sure it's from your heart. Amen. It's so important that yes. you make a decision and you make it from your heart. That's right. All right? Amen. It can't be a mental ascent. Yes. It has to come from our heart. Amen, Amen. 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 All right, so today we're talking about uh, uh, light, to walking in the light. And the truth of God. Amen. All right, you can find that. What? What? Uh, Third John chapters one, uh, verses three and four. All right. And I'm going to read that really quick. All right. So let me get, grab it up here. It gave me great joy when some believers came and testified about your faithfulness to the truth, telling how you continue to walk in it. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truth. Woo! Praise awesome. God. That is awesome. Did you hear how excited he was? Yes. The excitement in his voice yes. as he was writing this letter. He says, I can't tell you how excited I am yes. to see that you're walking in both the light and the truth. And, the truth. Amen. and that's what? Two parts? Yes. But the two, same. Yep. Two parts to it. That's right. Amen. Uh-huh. So we know that, first off, we know who, who is the light, and that is Jesus Christ. He is our light. Amen. And listen, he promises that the, those who follow him will not walk in darkness. darkness. Where do you find that at? In John 8, verses 42. Nice. Amen. That's right. We see, uh, we see uh, in his light, in his light, we, we see, see the, the truth. truth. Amen. <laughs> yes. Right? He we, is the truth. <laughs> yes, he is. And we live the truth. He is the light. That's Amen. right. That's right. And we speak truth. <laughs> yes. Yes. Amen. For he is the way. Amen. Yes. The light, the truth, and the way. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Listen, we look at the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God living on the inside of us. That lights our path. That that is the light within us. Listen, do you want? Do you know what? A, you know what it looks like. Uh, uh, you got a campfire and you're you're surrounded by moths and all kinds of bugs are drawn to the light. There's something about that right there. That when you got the the light of God living on the inside of you, people are going to be drawn to you. They're going to be drawn to you like moths to a flame. All right, they're going to see there's something different about you. They're going to wonder and they're going to want to know. That's your opportunity to share. Amen. Right? Yes. That's the open door, and you share what you know. That's Listen, right. you, you don't have to be a Bible scholar to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. You just got to know him. <laughs> it's your Lord and Savior. <laughs> yes, Woo! that's right. I tell you. Listen, walking in the light, when we're walking in his light and his truth, it's, it's, it's the only possible way, all right, for unity, true unity. Unity between who? Between you and I. Between you and I, right? And you and other believers. 
and all those around you. Unity. Listen, when, we, when we're when we walking in his light and in his truth, listen, we come together as one. One body. Amen? Yes. Praise That's God. Right. So what's that one scripture, Deanna? Oh, that if we walk in the light, as, as he is in, in the light. light. We have yeah. fellowship with one another. That's that unity that you were talking about. Yes. That's John verses, uh, uh, chapter 1, verse 7. Mm. And you can look those up. Make sure you do too, okay? Listen, dishonesty. Oh my gosh. I want to talk about dishonesty for just a, a, a smidgen of a second here. All right. Nothing can wreck a relationship. More than being dishonest with them and pretending that you're something when you're... Praise God, absolutely. You know, for try, pretending try to be, be something, something you're, yeah. that you're really not. Right on. Listen, That's right. There, are, there are many of people out there that are pretend Christians, all right? Yeah. They pretend to be, all right? They may have gone to a church service. They might know, to, know a couple of things. They might know a couple of Christianese, like hallelujah and praise God and da-da-da-da-da. Listen, it goes on and on and on, but they're pretenders. Yes. All right? And when that, when you see the truth and you see it, you see it in, in God's light, then you, then you, you're on to them. And you might be a pretender too. You might end up, yeah. get off me, bug. You might end up starting to pretend too, just because you, you listen, you, 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 you want to get away from them or something. You understand? You can't, you can't. Walk. I think it brings a strain on the relationship. There it is. That's what when I was we looking pretend, for. Thank you. When we're pretending to be somebody that we're not. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you, honey. You that strain. saved my bacon. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you saved mine quite a bit. So. Oh, praise God. So and what? I think people are turned off by it too. Absolutely. We get turned off by the fact that somebody's pretending to be something they're not. They're not. Listen. So. None of us, be careful. None of us are perfect. Get out of here, bug. Yeah. Listen, none of us are perfect, all right? There's no perfect Christian. You know what I am? I'm a man who needs Jesus, and I need him every day, mm -hmm. all right? I'm not a perfect man. There's no way. I can't walk that perfect straight line, but I've got Jesus living on the inside of me and his Holy Spirit and, and his light guiding that's right me every step of the that's way right. well when we're walking in the light it shows us who we really are but it also Ooh. shows our weaknesses people like that's good too that's right but it, why it's showing our weaknesses it also shows our security in christ if that makes sense it does it makes yeah. sense it does okay good. that's good i like that yeah Praise God. amen So what is the key the key to, to great relationships with others but is being vulnerable to one another. Just being real. Like Amen. be real. Be real. Then let's just be real. Um Hey, this is what you see is what you get. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's kinda right. how I roll right there, is what you what you, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. That's right. But stay stay spirit mo stay a spirit motivated person. Yeah, that's good. That's right. All right, thank you. So practical love. Let's talk about love for a minute. It happens only when we walk in, in God's light, the light of God's truth. Amen. Walking in that practical, godly love. Yes, Amen. that's right. So what? From the beginning, in the scriptures that she read, it brought it brought him joy, right? Great right. joy. Well, there is great joy to continue to live. According to God's truth, yes. remain faithful and steadfast in your walk That's good. of faith. And this is what will happen. Your faithfulness will be a joy and an encouragement to others. You want to be an encouragement to others? Walk, have faith. Be in joy. Amen. 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 That's good. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Right. Listen to me. Well, I have a song for you I want to share with you, but don't 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 forget and stick with stick with this because I am gonna walk you through a salvation prayer if your heart so desires. And I just want to share the song it's talking about God's glorious day. Amen. Amen, Steve. I was buried beneath my shame. Who could carry that kind? Till I met you 
I was breathing but not for life All my failures I've tried to hide It was my tomb Till I met you Your freedom is all that I know. The old man knew Jesus when I met you. You called my name and I ran out of that grave. Out of the darkness. Thank you, lovey. <laughs> Praise God. Listen, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you want to walk in, the, in His light, you want to walk in His truth, you want to walk with that kind of joy, I tell you, it brought my heart joy just singing this song. And I'm telling you, uh, it's time. It's time for you to make a choice. Amen. Listen, choose today to make Jesus your Lord and Savior. So if you'll just repeat this prayer after me and say, Father God, I come to you now. I know I have sin in my life, but I want to change. I know that I need Jesus to be my Lord and my Savior. I believe in my heart that he died on the cross and that he rose again on the third day so that I could have eternal life with him in heaven. I thank you, Jesus, for what you've done on the cross and for giving me of my sins. And I thank you for receiving me now. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. There it Amen. is, folks. So easy. And listen, there's one more thing I wanted to share with you before we leave. And I want to share something with you. If you need a good church, if you're looking for a good church, Resurrection Life Church, St. Louis, Michigan. Chilling. It's an awesome church. Uh, it's got everything that you could possibly ever need on the inside of that church. Every ministry and every, every, uh, every leader ready to meet you. Now, we're ready to meet you. That's right. And listen, come and check it out right there. Pastor uh, Rick Lopez is uh, is our pastor there. And listen, he's preaching like a man on fire. Yeah. And I'm telling you, he's preaching a good word. And he's speaking the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. He's not holding anything back. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's what I love about pastor. Yeah, absolutely. he speaks truth. Listen, and, and, uh, listen our website and, uh, we'll, and a phone number will be on the bottom of the screen. Yes. Check us out. Come check us out. Now listen, you call that number. If you're if you live too far away to come visit this church, listen, call that number. Somebody will help you find a church near you. That's right. But you need to get plugged in. Plugged in somewhere. Absolutely. You can't be out there wandering around. That's right. And uh, so can't do it alone. You can't do it alone. That's right. You're not an island. That's right. We're not meant to be. Right. Amen. All right. 
Hey, we'll see you Monday morning. Come back for another devotion, Embracing God's Love with Steve and Deanna. We love you. Peace. Peace.